It's a gathering that brings together thousands of experts on forests, meeting after a one-year delay because of the pandemic. Organizers say that's a timely reminder of how humanity and nature are so interconnected and reiterate the importance of healthy forests to limit global warming. Forests are absolutely essential to climate stability. If we have any hope of staying below 1.5 degrees warming, we need forests. They're sinks for carbon, so they suck carbon out of the atmosphere. And all of the scenarios, they all have forests in there as part of their models that bring that temperature down. The host, South Korea, offers important lessons on forest management. It stripped much of its wooded hillsides in the first half of the last century and during the Korean War, but then embarked on an ambitious reforesting program. The amount of land that's covered by forests has roughly doubled to more than 60 percent in the past six decades. That period's also seen South Korea transform its economy into an advanced one, proving it seems that economic progress and good forestry management can and do go hand in hand. In contrast, the mountains of North Korea have been relatively stripped of trees after years of economic hardship. It means bigger summer storms and floods because of climate change inflict more damage. And a changing climate is also causing more damaging forest fires in South Korea. This year we had the largest ever wildfire that burned continuously for 213 hours, and that was made worse by global warming. So we need to improve our system for forestry disaster management. Another indicator of a changing climate, the cherry blossom season, which has just ended on the peninsula, comes earlier each year. A visual reminder of the delicate and shifting balance between trees and the environment. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.